Right, so we've just arrived at Abbot Dovey Golf Club and uh, I've played here a few times, love this place, classic links. Louis, not played here before? Not played here before, never been here. I want you to get your first impressions, so what do you think mate, go and have a look. Pretty cool setting isn't it? Look at that. That's proper links mate, that's where we're going, let's get on that first tee. Abadubi Golf Club is literally situated between the uh, Snowdonia National Park, that's our mountains in the backdrop. On the other side you've got these huge high dunes that separate it from the beach and the sea. And uh, it really is a proper classic Lynx golf course. A bit windy today, but here's some drone footage I got from a few days ago. Just take a look at this and see how special this place looks. Oh, shot Louis. Great shot there from Lewis, uh, perched up on the second tee, but we're staying in the accommodation here, the dormy accommodation at Abu Dhabi. It's all right, isn't it? Pretty Absolutely decent. Absolutely great location, right on the putting green, 20 yards on the first tee. As for room number five, great setup, really nice and clean, brand new bathroom in there, absolutely everything you want. Oh, it's a golfer's dream isn't it? Yeah, Just perfect. Right there. And then we're five minutes walk into Abu Dhabi later on. But anyway, we're on the second sea, so uh, time I give it a bash in it, mate. Follow that. Yeah. Right, stop off at the back of the 12th green, which is a brand new hole, about two or three, maybe four years ago, I can't remember, because unfortunately, real disaster at Abu Dhabi a few years back when this 12th green was washed into the sea and uh, a lot of money and effort to rebuild it. Plays a great hole though, still part oh, three, doesn't it, Oh, fantastic, Luke? yeah. You know, the view from up here is great, but such a tough hole. I mean, it was playing 125 there and having six iron. Right into the you teeth know, Right it. into the teeth, great hole. What do you think of the challenge of the course so far? It's, it's, it's a proper classic links, isn't it? Great links. And just, just a great setting. You know, you can hear the sea, you can see it behind us, you've got the mountains there, but you know, the, the bunkers are great, it's firm, fiery, you know, there's nothing we can land, you know, near the holes. And that's now in April. 
to real traditional links, which I love. Um, so it, it's a good test, isn't it? It's a great test, and uh, like I said, for April for the course to be in this kind of condition is fantastic. Can't imagine how difficult it is to play in the height of July, August, when this thing will be rock hard and some proper uh, experienced links play would be required to get you around. Wouldn't it? Oh, So, decent night's kip in the dormy house. Time to see what uh, Abba Dovey's full Welsh breakfast is like, I suppose. Night out last night was uh, literally a few pints in Abba Dovey, which is about probably a 10 minute walk from the uh, golf club. And then um, it was Sea Breeze restaurant. We had something to eat there, which was um, pretty damn good to be fair. So yeah. In for breakfast and then back out on a course for another nine, I think. Right, so that's breakfast done. Uh, good Welsh breakfast to start the day, and it really is very convenient. This whole dormy house stopover is uh, is bang on. It's like I said, it's 20 yards to this uh, to get into the clubhouse for your breakfast in the morning. It's a bit bleak out there this morning, a little bit of drizzle, but we're getting back out on the golf course because uh, it's too good not to have another crack at it. Uh, we're just looking over 18 from the balcony at the clubhouse as well, so. Uh, would look nicer on a sunny day, but there you go, it is what it is, it's Lynx weather and uh, yeah, back out there, but so far it's been such an enjoyable stay here at uh, Abba Dovey and I hope we've managed to capture some of that on the video that we filmed over the last few days. I'm going to put some links down below for the, uh, the packages as well in terms of the play and stay because you might want to have a look at this yourself because it's a real good value way of doing it as well in terms of a couple of rounds of golf and uh, an overnight stopover in this dormy accommodation. Anyway, that's enough from me. Back out there and uh, another bit of a game with Lewis to finish off before we travel home. Right, Lou, I think I need to get a golf shot going, don't I? Yeah, uh, you do, mate. This is 15. 15, one down. You're on a shot. I'm on a shot, yeah, but I need to get up and down realistically. Good contact. Yeah, it's got a chance. That's not too far away. We've got a chance there, Lou. He's getting into the groove now. Yeah, good shot. Safe up the right. Oh, it's right, Ali. Is that going to sit? Oh, he's making a charge now. Can we see? Can we see where that's finished? What a joke! Yeah, good shot, good shot. So Louis, I think I might have given him a duff yardage, because that was right at the flag. 
is a good roll. It's a good roll. Ooh. So, there's a chance of a turnaround here, and believe me, I do not deserve it because he's played really well, Louis. But hey ho. A little chance of birdie here. So, this is for a three. Bit of a turnaround, as you can tell. I'm ecstatic. Oh, what a three. Oh, who is this guy here? Who is this guy? <laughs> Louis, you've, you've been battering me. You've been battering me. I've played garbage. You deserve to be winning. And what is the score? That's me one up. <laughs> Good swing that. Right over to Lou on 17. I oh, you stuck with us through the first part of the video. Like I said, uh, it was all about just showing you what this golf course is all about. But we've got a bit of a match going here, so it'll be a nice finish. Ball from Louis down the left. Ooh, we've even got that coming to rest. Bit of a pull. Yeah, I'm but... Now, aren't I? One down, two to play. I'm sure you can do it, Lou. I'm going to mention at this point that uh, I was struggling to get round and uh, swing wasn't great and uh, Louis do you regret giving me a little bit of a swing lesson halfway yeah, through? It's, annoying, it's, it's the, the swift turnaround. Well, yeah. I'm giving it the, you know, I'll try that for the next week or so. Next thing you know I'm, I'm one down, no, two I've, to play Yeah. and uh, you've just started hitting it. Out the middle again. I've gone from scrambling to try and get half a result using my shots as ever and uh, Louis played very steady indeed. Um, yeah, give me a bit of a swing tip. I was clearly doing a, a fair bit wrong. You put me right too quick, mate. I, yeah. All of a sudden, I feel like I can't miss. That's it. <laughs> At Tip. the closing end of the business. Fix him in a clubhouse. That's, that's yeah, yeah. Bit of thin to win there, mate. Yeah, it was a good shot. It's, uh, but it's made the front edge. a super shot that is. Greens have been superb uh, all day at Abu Dhabi. Fantastic condition for this time of year and there's plenty of pace in them as well. Has Louis got a putt in him? There's a decent line. Hello? 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 Oh! <laughs> oh! Lou! What? Can you believe that? No. I that think is... if you'd have took the flag out mate that would have gone in. Fancy that to me. That is. Oh. Great effort. What a super putt. Oh, it's a little shy. I think he's seen the end of the game. It's two for the match, I was thinking there, I think, mate. <laughs> and a little bit easy on it. Ah. Come up a little bit short. A little bit. So, this one's for the match. Nothing like a swift turn around to ruin my day. Oh wow. Look where that's finished mate. Left of the, that's finished right of the hole. Miss left, finish right. I mean I'm trying not to sound happy here but Give that one away mate. Oh he's got off to the start he wanted. Oh a little bullet there. He's bullet, that's I've got middle a, of the fucking That's of still hand. running. Oh, Louis. Oh, he's hit one again. What a swing lesson. What a golf coach, Lou. Oh. I don't know what I'm shouting about, I'm just three footed, but. So, how are you feeling, Ant? You're one up. Do you know what? I'm just looking down there. That is a tough finish, isn't it? Because. It is a tough hole, yeah. What you probably can't see is all red stakes down the right. I don't know how far they go towards the green. A lot of bunkers, and the green is really. Well, there's a little brook over here on the left, isn't there? The... Yeah. That's. Uh... I hope we don't drag it over there. Oh, you're not, not for your bad. second shot, no, but off the tee. But the, the green is literally adjacent to a pathway which is adjacent to the changing rooms. There's no, there's no in-between. 
Not fancying the left here then, no. I don't fancy right though either, mate, so... I'll do that. Oh. Is it a little scut there? Oh. Oh, you've got it to the green side trap. That's still going, yeah. Ah, Lou. That's it. Right, so he's got about 180, he's a bit further on than me with the drive, 180, this is this, he likes to play this little low stinger, as he got it in him to bring it all square, lands on the green, chances are a four's good enough for you. Oh, he's absolutely, pulled the shot out. That's well out. Yeah, it was always getting up over the lip, but then it's a bit of a bit of a theme, isn't it? Get in the bunkers, and you just—it's been a get, a kind of get out. You, um, will you be kite surfing today or is it too... Oh, it's too windy today, mate. Too windy. Too windy today. You love that, don't you? Yeah, I like a bit I've never seen there. you as a kite surfer. Well, you know, low centre of gravity, all that. Is the sea cold or...? Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. Don't bother you. I'm trying not to do my toe in, mate, to be honest. That's <laughs> what? Trying not to do my toe in. <laughs> surfing, Anna. Can't surf it. I'm up here. Louis! Lou! Come on, mate, we're teeing off 11.30.